Okay, so this is going to get a bit gossipy, but which is unusual for this channel, but what can I say? I'm a royal watcher. So, Prince Harry has a book coming out on Tuesday. God damn it. On Tuesday. And, um, the excerpts of the book leaked out because people in Spain are complete morons and accidentally released the book before it was supposed to be released because they can't be bothered. I thought Americans were the ones who couldn't be bothered to read notes and signs, but apparently that's a human thing, not an American thing. So his book came out and so stories have already circulated as to what's in the book. Now, in light of that, I'm going to go over some of the things that Harry is accusing the palace of. Um, let's see here. Do -de -do -de -do. Let me go to the top. So, Prince Harry is accusing the royal family of leaking lies to the tabloid press to make him and Meghan look bad. Now, if it weren't for the fact that um, the ghostwriter of Harry's book quit, um, that their PR staff have quit. If it weren't for the fact that even in America, they cannot retain staff, it makes you wonder, are they, re were they really the ones spreading lies? Or are you and Megan so caught, so up each other's ass? that you think that you guys are the greatest things that have ever happened. So, of course, the royal family needs to take you down. That's the first thing. The second thing is he still wants to reconcile with his family. Wait a minute. You just accused the royal family of trying to make themselves look good by shitting on you and Megan, and you put stories in the book to make them look bad, not the monarchy, but the individual people in the monarchy. And you still think that reconciliation is possible? Now, it's possible with possibly with King Charles because, you know, parents want to, well, most parents want to be able to reconcile with their kids. But... I don't know if he's going to be able to reconcile with William and, by extension, Kate and the rest of the family, simply because he dragged them through the mud one too many times. I mean, this book, from what I have seen, is him not just, not just throwing them under the bus, but driving forward, then backing up. And driving forward again and then backing up. So all he's been doing has been what he claims they're doing they were doing to him and Megan, which is making them look bad. And somehow this is supposed to make people want to reconcile with you. That okay, the dirty laundry is aired, so let's start fresh and forget any of that happened. <sighs> considering um, the way you and Megan have been acting since you moved to California, no, this is not helpful. This is just making you look like a spoiled brat. So I'm not going to say, oh, I think Megan was this much involved or that much involved because Harry had his issues with the monarchy before Megan. So I'm not going to give her that much credit. Now, whether she had, um, because she's a former actress, whether she had the ability to, um, avenues 
that Harry might not have thought of to um, get his get his point across, get his story out. That's different, but because Harry is not coming across as very smart. And I'm thinking of a particular story. I don't know how many of you remember in 2011, which seems like eons ago, um, Harry went to a Halloween party, a costume party, wearing a Nazi uniform. This isn't monetized, so I think I can say Nazi. Wearing a Nazi uniform, which he blamed on William and Kate in the book. Now, first off, it's entirely possible William and Kate were joking. If, if this actually happened, it's possible William and Kate were joking because they might have thought that Harry wasn't serious about wearing that uniform. It could be that the story is completely made up just to make William and Kate look bad. But just the fact that Harry even considered that as an option, especially considering his great uncle was a Nazi, um, which he and Meghan are really starting to repeat history with the print with the King Edward Wallace Simpson thing. I'm seeing way too many similarities. The only thing is that Harry hasn't gone running to gone running to the Nazis because, well, Megan. Anyway, so he is blaming William and Kate for that decision. Just the fact that he thought it was a good idea to wear a Nazi uniform especially given the family history with the, f the former King Edward, his great uncle. Um, yeah, not a good look. So, of course, William and Kate, if that were the case, they would think, mm, he's, it, this is a joke. I mean, he's got to know better than that. No, no, he didn't. And he was very much an adult at this time so it's not like he was some dumb kid but then again we still have celebrities wearing blackface not realizing the implications of it so yeah dumb people exist like i said i'm sure he is well versed in what happened with his uncle edward great uncle edward I'm sure he's heard the story about him abdicating, and that's how their line of royals even became the line, because King Edward abdicated. Granted, he and Wallace didn't end up having kids anyway, but, you know, I'm sure he's heard the stories, and the part about him doing the Nazi salute. Actually, we've seen pictures of young Elizabeth and Margaret doing the Nazi salute because her uncle taught it to them. I mean, they, they were quite young, so I'm not going to say, oh no, they're Nazis, because it's entirely possible they had no clue what was happening. So, um, no. No, you should really know better. <laughs> You of all people should know better because of that history, but um, so if that act, if that incident happened, I'm sure William and Kate were joking, or at least thought that Harry was joking. So yeah, yeah. Um, I will I will mention that at least he admitted that he probably was bigoted before he met Megan. Now, I'd like to point out that I'm sure he still is. We all have some prejudices. It's just a matter of recognizing them, and those who are bigots might be confronted with them and find a reason to justify why they're right and that it's okay to be a bigot. 
it's the person who is taught that, oh, what you said was bigoted, it stops it. So I wouldn't say I used to be, because it's entirely possible he's bigoted to some group. But, um, so at least he admits that he ha he was, he probably had some bigoted views. Okay, great. I'll give him that. But, um, to, to, um, say that, oh, I thought it was a perfectly good idea to wear a Nazi uniform, and because my brother and sister-in-law okayed it, you know, um, should maybe instead of of um, okaying it, should they have tried to save Harry from himself? Well, it sounds like based on this book, they've tried many times, and they've just finally given up trying, because it's, at some point, you if someone wants to self-destruct, you gotta just let them, because at some point, you just can't expand the energy anymore, especially if you're William, he has his own family, he can't expand that much energy anymore on Harry, who has his own family, so, yeah, but anyway, so, he first had an interview with, um, let's see, Harry has accused members of his family of getting into bed with the devil, the tabloid press, to sully him and his wife, Megan, to improve their own reputations. Um, no. See, Harry seems to be under the impression that because he was the most popular royal at one point, that somehow, that somehow the only way he could have gone, his reputation could have gone downhill, is because of the royals being meanies and telling lies to the tabloid press. For one thing, the tabloids lie about everybody. Um, let's face it, there was a, a headline not that long ago where it, William was accused of cheating on Kate. So the royals get lied about on, in the tabloids. This is not something that just happened to Harry and Meghan. It's just that, and Harry mentions it in his book, like, he admitted he didn't tell Megan to, um, the proper protocols in meeting his brother, because he stupidly thought that because this was an informal meeting, that she didn't have to follow the protocols. So, she, so, she tried to hug William. <clears throat> okay, so, <clears throat> so how is this supposed to make you and Megan look better, exactly? You didn't tell Megan about the protocols. He did mention it for the queen, but he didn't mention it for his brother. <clears throat> so, how exactly is this making you look better than what these lies that were being spread about you because I don't know dude nobody ever um to my knowledge anyway uh never was it leaked to the tabloid press that that this was a <clears throat> that this is what happened actually I think I read somewhere that Kate was blamed for something so, how is this making you look better than the royals? Yeah, it's not. So, let me see what else is there. Um... He told ITV that he had fled Britain with his family for California, fearing for our lives. 
and said he no longer recognized his father or elder brother, Prince William, the heir to the throne. Okay, so you no longer recognize them as your family. You've disowned them. But you want reconciliation at some point? You're right. It is naive. What the hell? How can you basically disown your family and say, but I'm willing to come back? Uh, I, uh, anyway, so let's see. Let's see what else is there. Now, this is a memoir, so we are subjected to things like like the time he lost his virginity, which, all right. I actually, as an aside, I actually, when William and Kate got married, um, someone naively typed that, oh, good, now they can have sex. Oh, you sweet summer child. You really think that William and Kate waited till their wedding day? I mean, it's possible they did, but you cannot assume that's the case. This is not medieval times. How in the world would anyone stop them? I mean, <laughs> that's just that's just totally naive. So, mm. So it's nice to put it out in book form that, yes, royals have sex before marriage, too. Because, you know, we didn't know that. Even in medieval times, um, bastard children were a thing. So, but anyway, moving on. Um, let's see. And he took illegal drugs. Now, um, from what I've seen in other sources, he took pot, which, okay, that's not a big deal. Cocaine, okay, and mushrooms. He did mushrooms. So, all right, he, he admits to be a partier. We knew that. We we knew he he was a partier. That's that's not a great revelation here. Um, let's see. Uh, he talked about the a fight he had with William, and there I've heard um, discrepancies in the timeline because he was claiming that, you know, you're just parroting the press, which is probably why he thinks that. Um, he, William was in on leaking to the press because why else would he parrot the press narrative about Megan? <clears throat> and um, there, there's I saw a comment. People are questioning the timeline of events that this might have this brawl might have happened before the headlines of Megan being rude and a bully even came out. So basically he would be accusing William of doing something that hadn't happened yet. So I, I really don't know. But either way, um, you know, you accuse William of attacking you. For what he said, no reason. I mean, he did mention insults were thrown, but he made it, he's trying to make it seem like he was this poor, innocent bystander and his brother attacked him. And, you know, that he wasn't a equal participant in this just because William won. So... Maybe, maybe that happened, but William did come back to apologize, so even if he it was one-sided, the fact that William came back to apologize shows maturity, 
shows that he understands the situation and he but he also didn't want Harry to tell Megan and but Harry told his therapist now I'm pretty sure this was around the time when Megan was crying that nobody was getting her the help she needed so how is it that Harry has a therapist and she doesn't is what I'd like to know unless the therapist unless she tried Harry's therapist and he, and even the therapist got fed up with Megan I don't know but that doesn't sound good that he had a therapist but he was he's crying that they couldn't find one for Megan um let's see um also it mentions how William and him didn't want Camilla to marry marry their father that they accepted her they just did and I get that I get that because, um, you know, that is distancing Charles, that in their mind, that's distancing Charles from their mother, which I get that, you know, you, you're, you're worried about Diana being forgotten, but he has you too. He kind of can't forget her, even if he wanted to. So, but that's understandable. I'm not going to give him shit for that. That, 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 that's totally understandable. Especially considering how he ended up, you know, how, how this ended up, you know, that he waited till after Diana died. So, I get it. But, um, let's see. I love this commentator say the book has plunged monarchy into its biggest crisis since the days of the royal soap opera in the 1990s. Uh, is it though? I mean, considering all Harry and Meghan have done from the word go is rag on the monarchy, is it really going to do that? Because... A lot of people, even after the Netflix special, a lot of people were in Britain were fed up and said, yeah, strip, strip them of their titles. So is it really this bad for the monarchy? I think it's, I mean, it's not great. It's not a great look, but it just shows that they're human. I mean, like William attacking Harry for... If, if that's truly what happened and not it was them just fighting each other because they're brothers. Brothers fight. That, that's just the way the world works. So, I, all this is doing is making them look human, which is what a lot of people want. You know, they, they a lot of people appreciate that the royals are not perfect. Now, up to a point, but anyway. Now, um, so in the ITV interview, Harry repeated and elaborated on occasions that he and Megan have made, huh? On accusations that he and Megan have made since they left royal duties, that the royals and their aides not only failed to protect him from a hostile and sometimes racist press, but actively leaked stories about them via anonymous sources. Now, they can't attack every story. Actually, when it came to um, other royals as well, they didn't attack every story that came out that made someone look bad. I mean, they attacked some, but they didn't go after everyone because that would be ridiculous. There was still freedom of the press, even there. But I, and granted, there were probably racist, um, there were, actually, I have seen examples of racism in the British press against Megan. Yes, that is bad, but it's just, 
you know, you can't go after everything. If people want to be asshats, they're going to be asshats. And considering the environment in the U.S. right now, I don't see why Megan's like, this is so much better. Because at least in Europe, the racism, you, you know that it's coming. As opposed to here in the U.S. where they try to, um, where, where, where the races try to, um, make it, make their racism covert. So it's not as obvious and it's more dog whistling. So people who are completely naive of all of this will not see that as a problem when those who know better know the, the racism is there. So, I mean, I wouldn't say the press was... I mean, at the very beginning, you know, they didn't like Kate either. Even when they were... William and Kate were still dating. They, there were plenty of stories about Kate. So, it's not just a Harry and Meghan thing. And the difference is that William prepared Kate for royal life. Harry did none of that for Meghan. I mean, like the story where she tried to hug William as opposed to protocol, which is to curtsy. And he didn't tell her. He told her about the queen, but, you know, so basically Harry wants to do things his way. And I don't know. He, he, I don't know what's going through that, on through that head of his, but, uh, so let's see here. I love it. He said he didn't think his father or brother would read the book. Um, it, they might, they might, and then put pages probably onto a dartboard and throw darts at it, but they might actually read the book. You never know. I mean, they're still family. They might want to know firsthand what the dipshit is saying about them. Because, you know, if somebody was saying something about me, I wouldn't want it secondhand. Oh, this person said so-and-so. I'd like to hear it from them. Did, you know, what are you saying about me? This is a good way to find out. Through it, through their interviews, through their Netflix series, through reading their reading their book, they can find out. Okay, this is what what's happening, and you can see it, did this get spinned in any way by Harry or by the press? So maybe they would. Uh, like I said, he wants reconciliation, but the family had shown no interest. Gee, I can't imagine why. Uh, giving him the impression it was better to keep him and Megan as villains. You're trying to destroy their reputation. You're trying to make yourselves look good by stepping on your family. The one thing that you're accusing them of doing. And you're surprised that they want nothing to do with you and Megan. I mean, it's entirely possible that they might think that Megan's the problem, and as long as Megan's out of the picture, you're welcome back. Or it could be that they saw something from before you met Megan and were like, yeah, you're just not worth it anymore. Um, let's see. On 60 Minutes, um, he said his the ball is in his family's court to heal the rupture. Well, Charles did invite him to his coronation. So we'll see if either one of them show up. And if they do, how that's going to go. I hope that Megan stays home with the kids. Or maybe Harry will bring the kids because, you know, number one, it's a coronation. I mean, you don't see those every day. And 
the kids should get to know their relatives. So, but considering how petty these two are being right now, I don't think that's going to happen. But it would be nice because, you know, Archie and, and Lily have nothing to do with this. They should get to know their relatives. They're really young, though, so it's not like they're going to remember this or anything. Um, let's see. But this is telling. This all started with them breathing daily against my wife with lies to the point of where my wife and I run away from our con my country. So, he sees them as a package deal. And granted, that's how marriages should be. You should side with your the family you chose. Okay. But... At the same time, it's so irritating when you're, acu you're doing the very thing you accuse others of doing. Granted, it's not a tabloid press, but still. You're trying to destroy their reputations. And this isn't... How is this helping the monarchy, exactly? That's what I'd like to know. How is this helping modernize the monarchy? Because... You're not talking about, um, you know, how, oh, you know, she, she was supposed to curtsy. I thought it was silly. That's, okay, fine. You want to modernize the monarchy that in a, um, in a unofficial capacity that they, people shouldn't have to curtsy to the, to the king, to the, monarch or to the heir fine that's one thing but he's just totally trying to destroy William's reputation he's trying to destroy his father not as much as William but and they said that he was trying to destroy Kate but I haven't seen how that is I've actually the, the stories I've heard I've heard about actually makes Kate look good and not not uh, Megan so I'm not sure where where they're trying to destroy Kate I haven't gotten to that yet I haven't found any uh let's see Harry has told the ITV he hoped his multiple legal actions against newspapers would help change the media saying it was at the epicenter of so many problems across the UK, as he's talking to the media. Are you even thinking? I mean, if you want to say against tabloid media, fine. <laughs> but yeah, look at what you're doing, dude. So, I mean, granted, that's the only way you're going to get your message out, but you had Netflix, you had um, social media. So there are ways without going for the media. You know, at least clarify that you're talking about a certain segment of the media. Because, I mean, we all do this. We have to live under capitalism, but we have to use capitalism to rail against capitalism if that's your thing. But, um, so I get that he needs to use the media, but at least attempt to point out that you're talking about a certain segment. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Harry told 60 Minutes that what Megan went through with the press was similar in some ways to what Camilla and William's wife Kate went through, but that circumstances were very different. Um, the fact that she was an American, I'll, I'll admit that there were some people who balked at the thought of an American, but it might also be because they're remembering Wallace Simpson. And since Megan seems to be Wallace Simpson 2.0, yeah, yeah, but I can see that divorced, again, Wallace Simpson flashbacks, 
black. Yeah, I have seen um, racism in some of the comments about Megan. Let's see. But then he adds biracial with a black mother. Mm, okay, that's repeating yourself, but okay. Um, and that those are four stereotypes. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay, four. Um, so yeah, I, I won't doubt that Megan was attacked for those things, which is why, like, yes, Kate was attacked, but William prepared her for this stuff. He prepared her for dealing with the press. He, bleh, he prepared her for what life in the monarchy would be like. So it wasn't a complete shock. Plus, being British, she's seen all the crap that the monarchy goes through. So, again, she was prepared. And... As for the feeding frenzy of the press, I'll just say Rosa Parks would like to have a word, as would Jackie Robinson. I mean, they went through all sorts of crap, especially Jackie Robinson. I mean, his own teammates hated him. So, but bad press? Really? That's what you're going for? Nobody attacked you physically. I mean, yes, after a while, it's an, it's probably annoying to hear unflattering things about yourself. But um, if they're not true, you'll persevere like Kate did. Now she's beloved. You did not persevere. You, you worked into those th very things that the press was labeling you as. So... Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. And this is where the comments of this could plunge the monarchy into a royal crisis is full of shit. Polls suggest many Britons are becoming bored with of the whole royal melodrama and have further and further revelations are unlikely to shake their views, whether sympathetic to Harry and Meghan or those they criticize. Um, let's see. I love my father. I love my brother. You have a very strange way of showing it. I love my father. I love my brother, even though I disown them. Okay. Whatever. I love my family. I will always do. Nothing of what I've done in this book or otherwise has ever been to to harm them or hurt them. Right. You're just throwing them under a bus, running over running them over constantly, forward, backward, forward, backward. Um, but yeah, you 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 don't intend to hurt them or harm them. Right. Yeah, that that may that I mean, I'm not going to be as hateful towards Harry as some people I've seen, but yeah, yeah, it's, it seems like he's, um, like he claimed that William and Catherine were excited when he told them that, that Megan starred in Suits. I would be shocked if they'd even heard of that show. Hell, I'm an American. Never heard of it until I found out that Meghan Markle was dating Harry. And then I found out that there was a show called Suits. Stephen Colbert actually pointed that out as well. So, no. <laughs> no, I sometimes wonder. Actually, I've heard rumors that Meghan helped him write the book after the ghostwriter left. So I wonder how much of this is to make Megan look like the superstar everyone has heard of, even though she's so not. Anyway, so with that, I am done with this article. And um, I believe I'm done with, oh my God, I didn't expect it to go on this long. So, I think I'm pretty much done with Harry, unless something else major happens when the book comes out. 
So I will talk to you guys next time.